Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. It seems like just recently I took up my latest rank four. Well, we got another rank four to take up today. All right, and since you guys said you liked the uh, format that I did the last time, we've got a similar format here. Uh, I'm going to lay out the different champions uh, that are, you know, candidates in the running, which gives you a chance to guess and see which one you think I took up. You saw who I took up the last time, so he's not going to be in here. All right. So let's, um, let us, uh, start with Hitmonkey. All right. So Hitmonkey he was in the running last time. He's in the running this time. He is a very fun champ for me. And he can put out a crazy amount of damage. Uh, I like him. He plays well with the uh, recoil masteries. He's great in battlegrounds. So uh, definitely will benefit from having another rank on him. Uh more damage, more health, and just all around fun. All right. Uh, so the next one, or or I should say the next candidate, is Spider-Man Supreme. Now, one of the things that I like about Spider-Man Supreme, he's got great damage. You do need to pay attention uh, to his modes, but he also has this ability that makes him almost untouchable. It's crazy. Uh, I need to learn him a little bit more. He's not awakened yet, but he is still worthy of taking the rank four. All right. So the next one is going to be Nebula. Now, Nebula, as you know, I use her in Alliance War. She is fine where she is at rank three. However, at rank four, with more health and perhaps a better block proficiency or whatever, she might be more useful seeing as how I'm going to be going up against champions that are rank four and possibly rank five. So that's why she is a candidate here as well. So if I decide to go with my workhorse, because she's a workhorse, um, it will be Nebula. And the last and final candidate uh, for this is going to be Nimrod, a.k.a. Nim God. Okay. And he doesn't really need any introduction. He is just a beast. He is awesome, whether it is against a mutant. He is Nim God against the mutants. But even without being against a mutant, he is still a beast. I want him at SIG 200. You see my um, SIG level on him right now. He is definitely worthy of going up to SIG 200. And I'm going to do that as much as I can. All right, so those are the candidates, four candidates. And I'm about to reveal my latest rank four in five, four, three, two, one, Nebula. So if you guys remember some of my rationale for taking up Hulk, I was talking about how I had to make a decision. I had to make a decision between a fun rank up or, you know, a more practical uh, rank up. Well, I did my fun rank up. That was Hulk. Now I've got to do the practical one. And if you guys have been watching me in uh, Alliance War, you know that I use her quite often. And it is true that she has been perfectly functional 
uh, at rank three. But I took her up and I've already brought her in. It's off season right now, but I actually brought her into a war off season just so that I could test, you know, and see how, uh, if there was any difference. And there was. Uh, she seems much tankier. So while she still takes uh, the block damage, she wasn't taking as much block damage as she was before. And that could just be because I was facing rank four champions and she was rank three. Well, now she's rank four. And she seems to be working pretty well. And we're going to, of course, go into uh, Realm of Legends. And I'll showcase a little bit of her damage. Uh, the other reason that I love using her is because I run the recoil masteries and she is bleed, poison, and I believe shock immune. And I take path three and in section two, there's a node that requires really um, a shock immune if they put someone on that node that gets a lot of armor ups. And I noticed that Things are going to change for season 42. I don't know um, how useful she will be, but I think she's going to be quite useful. Uh, mainly because of the style that she, um, that you play when you're using her. You know, you basically are not going to be hitting your opponent that much. You know, I might build up to a special two. But after that, it's basically parry, get that um, shock on them, hit the special two, and watch them melt. Okay, so I can still see her being quite useful. Uh, there's a couple of nodes. One node um, really wants a bleed immune champion. And she's bleed immune, so she works there as well. So... I'm I'm actually surprised. She got a, a rework uh, some time ago that made her much better than she was uh, originally. But even with the rework, I was still quite surprised at how useful she was in Alliance War. Uh, I remember someone said, oh, no, you want uh, Nebula against uh, Nimrod. And at the time, I was, I think I was going against Nimrod uh, I'm trying to remember who I used against him. Uh, was it was it Claire? But it was a while back, and I it was like sometimes I got him, sometimes I didn't. It seemed to be very iffy. Ever since I started using Nebula, haven't lost. She is perfect for him. So. I don't see myself benching her for this next season. She seems to still be quite useful uh, for my path in any case. Uh, so having her at rank four, she is definitely tougher. Um, she's got a higher health pool. So all of that means she's going to go down harder. You know, and you saw um, or you may not have seen in one of my uh, Alliance War, I went right down to the end of life. I mean, you saw the white on the bar and came back. So every little bit helps. Now, she also has some uh, healing so she can somewhat tank a special three. If the special three doesn't take her out right away, she can usually heal quite a bit of that back. Um, I don't remember if it's her signature ability uh, that does that or not. Look at her. And I always liked her. She just she was just too cool. Uh, you can see what her health pool looks like now at rank four. I wonder how many people have her at rank four. Not sure. But she has block proficiency, which is not all that great. But she also has armor rating. And like I said, I've seen that she does a little bit better. Let's see. Um, 
da, 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 da. one shock debuff. Okay, yeah, that just does the uh, power gain uh, when they have a shock on them. And I can put a shock on them with a heavy attack and then gain power uh, faster. So you might see me start doing that. Um, but in any case, let's uh, get over to Realm of Legends and beat down Winter Soldier a little bit. All right. So be right back. All right. Let's dive right on in. As you can see, I only have Nebula on the team. And what we're going to do is we're going to pretty much play her like we would normally play her. All right. So I'm going to build up, you know, the shock charges. You can see that she wasn't taking a lot of damage into her block right there. So that's what I'm telling you. It, it definitely uh, made a difference, at least to me. Okay, so I'm building it up, building it up. And uh, she's still doing a nice little, little bit of damage there. Okay, so at this point, we want to build up to the uh, special two. Okay. Knew he was going to do that. But look. Look at her health. There we go. One, two, three. Da da da. Boom. Look at that damage. Mm. And see, now he's got a shock on him. So look at my combat rate. I'm almost back to a special two. Okay. I can do a heavy attack. Put some more shocks. Okay, so now I'll just chill right here. Come on. Build up. I probably don't need to build up uh, all the way. You already saw how much damage the uh, Max did. Yeah, I knew he was going to do that. There we go. I I was gaining too much power because of all the shocks. But he's still getting that damage. And you see all those shocks they got on him right there, right? Look at this. Yeah. And look at her health. So, very pleased with this uh, rank up, and I'm pretty sure she's going to be very useful to me in um, Alliance War. All right, that's going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you for watching. Take care. Hit the like button. It helps me out. It helps me grow. Make sure you watch uh, some of the ads. I know some of you aren't able financially to help out that way, but you can all watch an ad or two, because that also helps. Anyway, take care, and you all have a blessed day.